much. Let's talk about this all with former Nixon White House counsel John Dean. Uh, John, you know a little bit about millions of American households watching such a proceeding. The Watergate hearings, of course, were not uh, in a courtroom, but it was more than 50 days of broadcasts and an administration on trial. What are your first thoughts when you hear about this tele televised hearing? Um, do you think it's a service or a disservice uh, to the cause of justice? I think it's a service. I, I can tell you from personal experience, uh, having been in 85 million households for a week, uh, that suddenly people uh, understand things that they didn't begin to understand before. And that's what will happen as a result of this being televised. That's one of the real issues in whether or not this case is removed to federal court. It's not likely the federal courts will televise it. It would take an exception to the rule to do so. And while there are efforts to make that happen, I, I don't think it will. It, it's very difficult to get those rules changed. While prosecutors uh, for the district attorney, Fannie Willis, told the judge that the trial could take four months, the judge said today that he thought it could easily be eight months, um, given you know the 19 defendants. Do you think the American... People will have the attention span for eight months, potentially 150 witnesses. What happened during Watergate and what's happened during the trials I've watched on television is interest waxes and wanes, and it depends a lot upon the witness, the issues, and they'll be in and out of the issues. There will be a few people, because I've talked to some over the years, who watch every single day, every single hour, and actually sometimes watch even replays. Uh, but by and large, the bulk of the public will be in and out of the proceedings, but they'll be there for them. And that's the important thing. And that's why I think they should be televised. I remember I was only five, but I remember my mom watching Watergate on the little black and white we had in our living room. Um, it was uh, one of my first memories. Um, District Attorney Willis also wants one massive trial for all 19 defendants, including Trump. Uh, she wants this on October 23rd, 19 defendants, uh, plus obviously their counsel. Just thinking about that um, sounds impossible and uh, rather circus-like. Jake, it's hard to imagine all 19 are going to go to trial. Uh, you know, they, they know the consequences. Uh, they are beginning to point fingers at uh, Trump and each other. Uh, this is not likely to to go in mass. Uh, some will flip. Some will uh, some will do deals. Some will uh, find other ways to get out of this situation. So I don't think all 19. I don't know how many will go. Uh, but I can understand why, as the prosecutor, there are certainly benefits to having all of them there. That happened in the Watergate trials that did happen when uh, the former chief of staff, Haldeman, the former top domestic advisor, Ehrlichman, uh, the former attorney general, all of the those involved in the Watergate cover up were tried uh, together. Uh, I think there were seven of them in the courtroom. I, again, was a witness for two weeks in that proceeding. But, uh, you know, it, there's an advantage to the prosecutors having them there. And the most effective uh, witness, or excuse me, defendant, was one who sat in a corner with nobody else around and got uh, no judgment against them by the jury. The jury thought that person couldn't be involved. So there can be strategic locations even in mass trials like this. At one point during um, Watergate, you drew up a list of names of figures who, in your opinion, had broken the law. Uh, you remarked, quote, how in God's name could so many lawyers get involved in something like this? And I'm wondering... If you look at the list of uh, Georgia defendants, seven of the 19 defendants are attorneys, if, you, if you're wondering the same thing. I have been wondering the same thing, particularly since I've tried to use Watergate uh, in the last decade uh, as a teaching tool for what lawyers shouldn't do. Uh, and been out there and really thought maybe Watergate had had an impact. It certainly required ethics being taught in law schools, required a national ethics exam. But now we've got to examine again whether indeed that has worked or had an impact or why it is that some lawyers are inclined to so easily cross the line. John Dean, once again, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.